Hi everybody, we're back into the Happy Lager Craft CMS demo website to take a look this time at assets in Craft CMS. Now assets are any type of file that you might upload to the site. So these could be images, they might be videos, they could be icons or PDF documents, all sorts of different content. They're all referred to as assets, something that you would upload into the site that potentially is output to a page or a visitor to the site could download. Uploading new assets to the site is easy. All you need to do is make sure that you've selected the most appropriate folder or directory on the left-hand side, and then just head across to the Upload Files button in the top right-hand corner. Now, as you can see on this page, we've got a list of files that have been uploaded. These are all images that are referred to as site assets, but this structure of different folders and directories will be customized based on the type of assets that you have in your own site. Now I can use the search in the same way that I can search through different types of content entries. So for example, if I type skate, you'll see that immediately cuts down the results and just shows the matching items. And now if I remove the keyword that I've put in here, you can see that I can filter by the list or the grid view to easily view the thumbnails of each image that has been uploaded. Now going one step further, I can double click on any of these assets and I can inspect particular properties about them. Now for images, I can change the file name, I can add a title, and I can even add a short description. In fact, we can apply all sorts of different fields that Craft allows within the content structures and attach those to individual assets. Now with it being an image, I've also got some editorial control over that image as well. And if I hover over the image itself, you'll see that there's an edit button which appears in the top right hand corner. And if I click that, I can actually go and do some basic manipulations on that image. So for example, I can rotate it in whichever direction I need to. I could flip it. I can also set something called a focal point. We'll cover that in a separate video. And I can crop the image based on certain different uh, predefined image formats. Now I can then either choose to save that overwriting the original image, or I can save it as a new image, giving me plenty of flexibility to use either one image across the site or multiple variations of the same image across the site as well. When I'm viewing either in the grid view or the list view, you can see that I can select single or multiple assets at the same time. Now in the grid view, that select is in the lower left hand corner of each thumbnail. And then this activates my icon up the top here where I can bulk download images or I could bulk delete images. Or if I've just selected a single image, then I've got a few more options to either preview the file, download the file, edit the asset, rename the file, replace the file, copy the reference tag, which is uh, an internal reference to the image within the CMS. That might be something I want to do to go and paste it into one of my content fields elsewhere in the site. Or I can edit the image in the same way that we've already seen. Now, it's worth pointing out at this stage that some websites that we build will have automatic image scaling in place. We'll do that as part of the build to maximize performance and to minimize this fiddly work of trying to get images just to fit. Some images might need some preparation before you upload them, but where possible, we will try and automatically scale an image to fit the placeholder. And obviously we'll have instructions in the respective fields as well. So it's as easy as possible for you to upload an image first time and for it to fit just right.